Good afternoon everyone, this is Teacher SP and welcome to my channel. So kung bago lang po kayo sa aking channel, mag-subscribe, like, comment, and hit the notification bell para updated kayo sa mga videos tutorial ko. So sa hapon na ito, ako po ay magtuturo kung paano po mag-simplify ng zero and a negative exponent. Handa na ba kayo guys? So kung handa kayo, handa rin ako. So please keep watching until the end of this video. So I have here on the board an example of zero and negative exponent. So when you are simplifying a zero exponent, see to it that you have to remember lahat, any variable, any number raised to zero is equal to one. So I have here x raised to zero, we know that x is a variable, right? We know that a from a to z, the variable, these are the variables, and if you're going to raise it to zero, that is equal to one. So x raised to zero is equal to one. Example number two is eight raised to zero. Eight is a number, any number raised to zero is equal to one, guys. And then, we know the binomial, we have two variables, a plus b raised to zero is also equal to one. And then, 3a squared, b squared raised to zero is also equal to one. Take note, guys, basta any variable, any number raised to zero, that is equal to one, okay? So, in uh, letter B, we have a negative exponent. So, a negative exponent, guys, take note. Ang gagawin natin, we are going to check the numerator and the denominator. So, in example number one, x raised to negative one. So, we know that x ay nasa taas. At any variable, any number, kapag isa lang, ang denominator niya is one. So, what are we going to do? Babalik ta rin natin. You have to get the reciprocal or the inverse of that. Okay? So, we know that x ay nasa taas. Gagawin natin, ibababa natin para ang kanyang exponent ay magiging positive. So, therefore, the simplified form of x raised to negative 1 is equal to 1 over x. Okay? And then, for 8 raised to negative 2, okay, the denominator is 1. So, what are we going to do? Babalik ta rin mo pa rin, get the reciprocal, 8 squared. But, you have to simplify. We know, guys, that 8 squared meaning 8 times 8. Dalawang beses mo, multiply ang 8 sa sarili niya. So, 8 times 8. That is equal to 1 over 64. Okay? So, did you get it, guys? For our example number 3, if we are going to simplify this, we know that x raised to negative 2 magiging x raised to negative 2 over 2 raised to negative 2. Ano ang gagawin natin? So, ang gagawin natin, pagbabalik ta rin natin ang dalawa. Ang x negative 2, ilalagay sa baba. Ang 2 negative squared, ilalagay sa taas, which is the reciprocal of that number. So, magiging 2 squared. So, magiging positive na because we transpose it on the uh, upper side. On the upper side, transpose, transpose it sa baba, magiging x squared. So, simplify it. 2 squared, that is equal to 4 over x squared. So, this is now our answer. Okay, so, for our example number 4, you have to write it in a comment section. Write the simplified form of 2 thirds raised to negative 3. So, thank you so much, guys. And I hope you learned something today. Have a great day, everyone.